What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So Spy X Family has just come out, Weiss Wars English Edition. We are opening this one booster box to see if I can get lucky or... I feel like it's been a little while since I've actually pulled anything um, when I've opened the odd box here or there on the channel. So maybe I'm going to be in luck today. Maybe I won't. I actually don't know the pull rates. Um for this set so if you do know let me know down below in the comments and um yeah i mean i'm excited to open something it's been a little while since i've opened some Y schwarz I, I feel like it's been a little while but let's see what we can get in this spy x family set so let's open this up and just leave that folded because i always break that top part so we've got a promo card and we've got lloyd on the promo it's just flat there's no foiling just standard box topper PR card so kind of interesting what they've done around the edges on that one um, let's put him to one side and let's get these packs out and see if I'm getting lucky today with some hits now to be honest I haven't really explored this set too much I, I think I've, I even forgot to do a video <laughs> about looking at the cards i guess uh that is literally very similar to the promo card um i wonder if that is a card in the set or not um we've got anya lloyd damien and smiling anya so we've got a double rest so let's check what foiling they've gone for on these spikes family cards and as you can see there's lots of little oily stars across the card so that's that, that's pretty nice um i'm liking the design of this card's pretty just nice in general and um we've got a climax rare there so i guess the only thing is i don't know if it's coming through too well but it looks slightly not 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 too blurry but you've opened white schwarz before some of the cards are just kind of like a blurry screenshot so i'm going to be interested to see um, if we get any like that, I mean, I didn't open it in Japanese. So anyone who's opened this in Japanese already will probably already know that. So we've got a double rare with your extremely skilled assassin. So there you go. I'm sure you can see now the, the type of foiling effect they've gone for on this set. It looks really nice, to be honest. Um, I like that every set is kind of a surprise uh, in terms of the foiling they do just just changes for every single set and they just switch it up completely so um yeah that looks pretty cool i unfortunately did not actually finish <laughs> by x family um i was watching it when it was airing and then i just got to the point where i kind of hoped i could watch it all in one go so i obviously stopped watching it while it finished airing and i've just not got back to it yet <laughs> i feel like that's quite a common thing oh we've got an sr um wow look at the texture on that i know the background's plain um but the texture obviously makes up for that i thought because there was some writing there that it was it was some sort of hit at a glance <laughs> but it is just a spy x family logo but yeah we've got meeting with the target lloyd so that is one of the hits from the box one of the textured hits anyway let's pop him up there um and yeah see what else we can get maybe it's a uh, two hits her box kind of back to standard. I think there's Spy Spy X Family Res S SPRs or something uh, in this set. So um, although there are SPs and signed cards and things, don't know why I put that one over there. Um, potentially, there's probably a fair chance at hitting um, hitting a card when they add in that extra rarity. Um, We've got a double rare with Fiona. So I don't think I got far enough. Uh, it's not focusing. Let's just move some of these cards around so there's less faces in the background for the camera to focus on. See, so yeah, I don't think I got quite far. The foiling looks really nice coming through really well on that card. But yeah, I don't think I got far enough to, to see that character. I think I got about five episodes in maybe. Um, but yeah, I definitely need to come back to it and rewatch the show from start to the end uh because yeah i just sometimes sometimes you just don't want to watch things weekly but yeah let's let's look at these cards let's let's pay attention to to the cards a little bit more because i always end up rambling about 
all sorts of other things while I'm opening and not really paying attention. So we've got a rare perfect barber Lloyd. I I am really feeling the borders on these. So like this card in particular with the colors, the teal and the gold, and then the stars looks really nice. Um, I do like that. Uh, I do like that a lot. Um, we are not far off halfway through the box. So can I pull something with a signature on today? Am I feeling lucky? So yeah, we've got loads of these patterned borders, which are which is just a bit different. Not nice to switch it up, I guess. Um, and we've got a rare Yaw, and then a Climax Rare. Right. Nearly halfway through. It's not, it's not looking too promising, having hit the, uh, the SR already. Um, but yeah, if you know the pull rates, let me know in the comments. Let everyone know who's watching in the comments below what typically we might expect to get from this one that's a really nice card we've got climax common just the the energy the vibes like that's just that's just really nice right halfway through if you're watching by the way guys at this point if you are watching you enjoying the video please hit like and subscribe i was trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year and that wasn't happening but i'm only 25 off and we've got another sr so um Becky Blackbell, daughter of the Blackbell family. Um, really nice texture. I mean, it's standard SR from Y Schwartz, if I'm honest with you. They uh, they really go to town with the texture and the texture patterns. They're always so different on every card. Um, really, really nice. But possibly that might mean we might have had two hits, but we are only halfway through. Um, so yeah maybe maybe not M maybe there's another hit lurking i do not know on this one it is normally i'm i'm up to date with pull rates so i know what to expect but um yeah this one just kind of i didn't look into it too much um i guess probably because i haven't finished the show if i'm honest but that's probably uh yeah well i haven't oh look at that that's just really they've just switched up the art style completely on that one so that's that's kind of cool um yeah so are you opening this set are you buying this set have you skipped this set and if so how come um i know it's a very popular ip i know it's very very uh popular anime um and we've got a rare anya and then a climax common but yeah they've really it's nice to see that they've done something different um with these designs and i have seen some of the sps and i know i think it comes from the trial deck though but there is one with all three of them in um you've got your lloyd and anya um i really like that one but i don't think it's actually that expensive i think because it that one in particular doesn't have a signature on it um and we've got two climax on that one. What am I doing with these balls? Um Yeah, so you can get one with all three of them on. And it's it's hot stamped, like with um the family name on it, but I don't think it's a signature card, so that's probably why it's cheaper. But I think personally, it just looks really, really nice. Um so yeah, nice to see them do slightly different things like this and uh yeah not many packs left but just so you know guys on this friday which is the 2nd of february i will be streaming on youtube a live box break oh that's a really nice double rare so as i was saying like with all three characters on it looks i, I don't know it's just a bit different to have all three of them on there um yeah i don't know i really like it like i know it's a double rare uh, i wish it was an sr with some texture on but yeah this friday um, Friday the 2nd of February I will be opening a one piece OPO1 blue bottom booster box so that will contain either V1 or V2 cards only and after opening that box and some packs from it potentially guys if you're interested we can open some Spy X family booster boxes trial decks or Meister sets um, I might open one of them for myself because you get a like exclusive playmat I think inside you get one of the PR cards um that you can only get in those sets that are foiled and things like that so um it's my first time seeing 
the Meister set. So yeah, I might open one of them as well. But obviously, yeah, if you guys want to get involved either in the One Piece opening um, or opening some SpyX family, um, packed boxes, yeah, trial decks, be sure to come join the stream on Friday, 8 p.m. GMT time. Um, and obviously I can ship to UK and EU. So uh, I will add some of the SpyX family bits on the site under live breaks on Card Cami. Um, but yeah, or just come hang out. Like you don't have to purchase anything, but you can come join the stream, come join the chat and see what and if we manage to hit anything big. Right, we're on the last pack. We're on the last pack. Have I run out of luck recently? Are we going to get a little bit of last pack magic? Or is this set back to the kind of standard two hits per booster box? And yes, it is two hits per booster box. Potentially. Now, to be honest, they switch up all the time. Maybe you can get free if you get the spy family rare as well. I don't know. But these are the two cards I got, as you can see, two SRs. As always, anything with texture looks, in my opinion, absolutely amazing. Not that they're generally worth much. SRs are normally very cheap, a few dollars at best, a few pounds. But as a collector, I'm sure you'll agree they do look really, really nice. So yeah, as always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you aren't subscribed, please hit subscribe. If you like the video, hit like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.